welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the command line utility VBox Manage, which will allow you to manage VirtualBox from the command line. This is great because it can be scripted and you can do all kinds of fancy things without having to open up the VirtualBox graphical interface. Let's switch over to the console and take a look. On a Linux or Mac OS system, if you type in VBox Manage, you will get the help for that command. And there are a number of things you can do. Please keep in mind you can run VBox Manage on Windows as well. By default, it is not added to the path in Windows. So you need to either add the path to where the VBox manage command is located or you need to navigate to the directory in which the command file resides in order to be able to run it. If you know these things going in it makes it a whole lot easier. Other than that they operate in nearly an identical fashion across all the platforms. So there are a number of things you can do. You can get version information, you can suppress the logo, uh, provide the settings, password, all kinds of fun stuff in general options. Under commands it gets a little more fun you can list all your VMs. You can list the running VMs, the different types of operating systems, all kinds of information you can list out. Show virtual machine info, register virtual machine, unregister virtual machine. You can create VMs from the command line. This is cool. Modify a VM. There are options here if you need to expand the size of your virtual hard drive. You have to do that in VirtualBox first before you can do it in the actual VM. There are provisions for that as well. Moving down, all kinds of different things here. You can clone VMs, import and export VMs, start and control VMs, discard states. So if you paused a VM, you can discard that state so it will uh, show up as stopped. You can adopt a state, take a snapshot, and other various things. So that's all and good, but how about a practical use for this? I started off with VBox Manage List VMs, and it should fit out my list of all the virtual machines. Most of these have been created for my YouTube channel. Now you need to notice a couple of things in this list. First of all, you have the VM name enclosed in quotation marks. You've got a space, and then you've got a unique identifier enclosed in curly braces. If you've used a Unix or Linux type system, which includes Mac OS, for any length of time, you know that these systems are not 100% friendly by default or without using some little tricks to file names or text that has spaces in it. So what I did is I ran through my list of virtual machines and I added underscores where I previously had spaces. This makes it easier to go to the next step of what I did. 
So let's clear the screen and we'll open up Nano, back up VMs, shell script. All right. So one of the things that I needed to start doing is backing up and exporting my virtual machines as OVA files. This opens up more flexibility for me. I can use the VMs on other computers that I own or I can free up space on the hard drive of my main computer and move them over to network attached storage if I'm not going to be running them for a while. So just a quick run through of this script. So the first line is the shebang slash bin slash bash, which is used for Unix type systems. Moving down two lines, I set a variable called today and set it to the current date and listed out format options. Okay. So far, so good. Next line, I echoed to the terminal, start. I'm starting the script. Again, we are echoing create text file with list of virtual machines. But the next line is a little bit different. So I've got vbox manage list VMs. And I take the output from that command and I pipe it into cut dash D and we're cutting on the space. So we're taking everything past the space and we're dropping it out. Okay. And then we're taking the output from that and we're sending it to the cut command again. Cut dash D. Single quote, double quote, single quote. And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to remove the quotes out of the file or out of the text stream, I should say, and send it to a temporary file in slash temp directory, the VMs file in the slash temp directory. All right. So far, so good. Moving down to the fun part. While read P which is just a variable, do the following. So we're going to echo P, which is going to be the name of the virtual machine. The middle command here, vbox manage export. So we're exporting a VM, the one currently in the variable P, and we're setting the output to in my case, volumes slash max slash OVA. And then the file name itself is going to be today's date dash the VM name dot OVA. And after each of those is exported, it will say export finished with the name of the VM on the terminal screen. final line in that while loop is done and it specifies the slash temp slash VMs dot txt and that is going to be the basis of the loop. Every VM name in that file will go through that loop. So basically what it's saying is while there's another VM name, do the following. Echo the name to the terminal, export it to an OVA, echo VM name export finished, and then go through the go to the next one. At the end it's going to run cleanup. It's going to echo clean up to the screen and then it will remove the text file from the temp directory. So let me exit out of this and then 
I will give you a demonstration here. Backup VMs. It's starting. Create text file with list of VMs. And so it's starting with a Windows 2000 VM that I've had. And it will run through this. It'll say the export is finished and it will move on to the next export. This should take just a moment or two longer. And once it's finished one iteration of the loop, we will end the video. All right, so it's gone on to the next virtual machine to export. And on that note, this brings us to the end of another practical IT video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications. And please feel free to leave comments down below. I hope that you have found this video to be useful. And I would appreciate comments if you would like to see more videos on the VBox manage command and using it from the command line and perhaps using it in other scripts. On that note, this is Jeremy signing off for Practical IT. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.